everybody. Doing another uh, downtown business interview today. I'm heading over to see uh, my friend Stephen Young. Stephen is a realtor in the area, uh, does a lot with uh, investment property, uh, very knowledgeable when it comes to that stuff. Actually, the building behind me right now is something that he just bought for his personal business. Uh, his wife is a downtown attorney, and uh, they're, they're going to move their office here. Let's go inside and take a look at what he's got to offer. Stephen, thanks for meeting with us today. Uh, for, for those of you guys who might not know Stephen, uh, give him a little opportunity to introduce himself to you. Uh, hey, my name is Stephen Young. I'm a realtor with Project Realty Group here in Elizabeth City. It's off of Main Street, 605 East Main, uh, yeah, East Main Street. And uh, yeah, Chris has asked me to come on here and he's asked me some questions. Yeah, um, I know one of the things that you're really into is investment property, the, the importance of that in someone's long-term financial plan. Uh, tell us a little bit about, about your background on that and why do you think it's such an important thing? Well, uh, investing in um, your local area is always important because it helps build the economy. It helps uh, with bringing areas up from dilapidation. You have a street corner or a street that is in disarray. Um, an investor can come in, which has happened here in town on West Burgess and things like that, where they've gone in and they've bought the properties and they have revitalized the properties, and now there's places for people to rent. So it's very... Um, Pulls onto my heartstrings a bit right. because that's my way of, I feel like I'm giving back is trying to help um, investors see the potential in some of these properties that have been on the market for a long time. Me being from this area, I always want to see my area improve. Sure. sure. One of the things that I noticed um, as a residential real estate agent is the lack of um, basic basic housing, those entry level housing. So that, I think part of that uh, in, in investment is such an important piece of that puzzle. That's right, that's right. And uh, these, these investors who do things like take a dilapidated home, fix it up, and do what I call what they say is flipping, that's also great for our area because then what they can do is they take a house that was probably about to uh, either be vacant for a very long time or be taken out of the mix to an yeah, I've, I've had one of those recently. <laughs> yeah. um, and they're able to have that at a lower price because it's been taken from that state and let somebody like a you know a new family a single person or someone like that in their price range and they can purchase and start their start their life if, if i was an investor and i decided hey investment real estate is something that i want to do tell me a little bit about the process that i would need to go to when i come you know do, what do i need to do before i come to you and what might you, you take me through that process well um if you're looking to start off building a portfolio as an investor mm -hmm. um and it's going to be your first time um what i have at a at a project realty group is a team it's called the ibx investment team it's me, myself, Stephen Young, and Gene Tick, and we kind of formed this team to help with that process um, to have to where you can have a property manager and a real estate agent uh, and sales agent work together to bring both Fair their, enough. you know, both their uh, points of view on right. what they're doing all into one and kind of bounce ideas off each other to help the investor. Okay. So what an investor would have to do is one for residential or commercial there are two different types of loan processes that way um, there's a lot of, there's different loans for commercial versus residential sure. but the big thing would be to come in have a talk uh, sit down with my team and just discuss what your goals are okay. that would be the first thing and then we'll worry about how you plan on acquiring those properties with whatever funds you Okay, have. for those who are watching, why don't you tell us, how, how would they contact you? Give a number, a number oh, of sure. uh, um, You can always reach uh, me at 252-599-0722. Uh, my email is youngrealestate252 at gmail.com. Just reach out, and you can also reach out to my partner, Gene, which I'm not even gonna try to do his number right now because I probably will mess it up. Um, we'll so put that on the screen for everybody. You, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you reach out to me, you'll get both of us and we'll just come in and have a meeting with you and, and let you know your options and what you can do and what you can't. Cool. Um, one of the things that I find that a lot of people may not know about you is not only in the real estate thing, but you also do a great podcast, 252. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I do have a podcast. Um, it's funny, the podcast started off as just a way of communicating um, here in Elizabeth City from business owners to you know people who are just entrepreneurs and things sure. like that and evolved into being more political than what I thought it would be um, but uh, yeah my podcast has really done well it's a conservative based podcast 
I highlight the different events and news that are happening in our 252 area, okay. plus bringing in um, national news and sometimes world news, kind of give people a different spectrum so they're not always going to the same media hubs to yeah, get absolutely. that information. Yeah. And uh, show them around information, and yeah, kind of show them what what uh, what's going on in the world, what's going on in the neck of the woods in two five two, because you'll see in some local uh, media's and even media on uh, you know big time television networks, they kind of just force feed one deal or one narrative. I like for my followers that I have about fourteen hundred right now, which I never thought I'd have that many, but. Uh, Give them different things to sample from instead of one little deal. Where can they find the podcast? The, pod, Apple? the podcast is on various different platforms, any Spotify, things like that, anywhere you go to get a podcast. But my main thing is Facebook, and you can find me just putting in at 252 Podcast in ENC, and you can find me. Um, it's very easy to find, and plus I'm on all the local groups, so you'll probably see my post. Okay. Um, one of the things that uh, that I think you know people may not know is uh, this is also one of your first uh, your first personal investment properties. Tell, tell us a little bit about that's that. right. Uh, this is my first commercial investment. I have residential uh, investments, and that, you know the way that uh, I need to you know go out and coach the you know investors on how to acquire these uh, different pieces of property. It's good that now I have a commercial one under my belt. Um, to be able to say, I, you know, I can pr I can practice what I preach. Uh, like I said, you know, you I watch you coach all the time. I've seen your videos. You do a really good job. Appreciate that. Thank you. And um, for me to be able to coach investors on how to do the real the residential uh, income property or flip, it's also great. Now I can say I personally know the process uh, firsthand for commercial properties as well. So. That's one of the things, and this will be, uh, this was, I didn't do this alone, my wife Whitney Young is also doing this with me, and she's a local attorney here in town, and, um, you know, these guys stay tuned, uh, you know, if you do follow my podcast or want to, you know, contact me, stay tuned, and you guys can actually see what this building turns into, and you can see we're doing some renovations right now. Right. Well, cool. Um, you're from the area. I'm from the area. I, I feel very passionate about the people here. And I think it's, you know, I chose, I could have lived anywhere in the world. I chose to come back to the Albemarle area to, to raise my family and to be a part of this community. I find it a great place. What is it that you love about the area? What, what makes this area so, such a great place to live? Well, um, you know, this area is very unique. I've lived in numerous places. I've lived in Europe. I've been all around, you know, the United States, lived in Alaska, and there's no place like Castleton County, Elizabeth City, um, and all the seven counties that we operate in as realtors. There's no other place like this area. The NENC area is very unique, and I believe that it's the people that make it unique. It's a very diverse melting pot of all different kinds of people, yes. um, you know, versus somewhere else in the United States. There's a very, uh, you know, good tight groupness of the, uh, I mean, you know, if that's a word, that's this, you know, there's some tight knit groups here. And uh, I believe that that's what makes this place feel like home. Me being from here, um, coming back after my military service is where my family is. And uh, it's just great to be able to come back and do something like what I do with investors to help revitalize the area um, and give back to my community. Cool, I appreciate that. Um, if you want more information, um, I'll obviously I'll throw your uh, contact, Stephen. I'm sure he'd love to sit down and talk with you about, about your investment properties. Um, if you, if you like what you're seeing, do me a favor, share it on your Facebook page, go to my YouTube channel, uh, like it and share it there. Um, love, love what I'm doing, and I appreciate everybody uh, tuning in, checking it out. Um, as always, I'm Chris Weikers, welcome home. Okay, yeah, I think we got it. Yep. Um,